talking racing, drinking wine, getting winners. It's the dream job, this. <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic. It's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> uh, the Wine Tipster, day two with the Wine Tipster here on Mario Kart. Neil Phillips joins me. Neil, great to see you. Yesterday, I must admit, I was very keen, I think. You, you were getting very excited. Premature. Yesterday. I went straight yeah, yeah, for yeah, the you, drink. You were definitely keen. <laughs> I went straight for the drink. I think today I should learn a little bit more about what I need to do to taste and spot a good wine. So let's kick things off before we get into the racing today with an education from you to me about how I need to approach this wonderful Roussillon. Is that yeah, correct yeah, pronunciation? Yeah. Roussillon, Roussillon. Well, I mean, well, yeah. no, like, we're just going to get it to pull back the reins yeah, today, okay, Ollie. Right. You're in charge. Uh, yeah, you got very excited yesterday. Uh, I think you're running sort of five furlongs yesterday. <laughs> We've got three miles and a bit longer today, obviously. But what we have here, yesterday was great, wasn't it? About partnerships. Mullins and Walsh, mm. fantastic to see. This is about a partnership as well. Michel Roux Jr. and Michel Chapoussier. Fantastic winemaker, Michel Chapoussier. Fantastic chef, Michel Roux Jr. So they've combined together, and we have a wine they've worked on together here. So, And just to contextualise it, we are in the Chez Roux restaurant, Chez which Roux, is yes. above the final flight yes, stand. Yes, we are. Uh, a wonderful facility. You're going to have great wine, great food throughout the course of the afternoon, and a great view out onto the track as well. Well, I think this is one of the amazing things. You think we're in the Corvega bar yesterday. This mm. is the variety of Cheltenham, isn't mm. it? People can go and have a wonderful Malbec last yesterday, relax, chill out. Here they can have some absolutely fantastic dine, mm. fantastic fantastic wines and great viewing as you say it's yeah. brilliant absolutely brilliant so today about partnerships yes absolutely so here you go ollie now Thank just you. have a look at this wine first of all it okay it's about it. yes you are come on <laughs> i've got my whip out <laughs> <laughs> right so we're just holding on to the glass like that now what i want to do is just do a little bit of moving around the glass right. there look at this it's not easy yeah, folks yeah, i used to practice yeah. at home i'm right-handed yeah, well. yeah yeah good technique there you can use a whip left. in both hands <laughs> i reckon uh, okay <laughs> then what you're going to do is get your nose in there by the way, when you're getting your nose in, Ollie, come on, don't be shy. I want you to get your nose right in there and really get those aromas I'm right in your I'm nostrils. I'm getting those aromas in. Don't worry about that. <laughs> so what we've got here is a wonderful uh, Viognier Grenache Blanc blend. And what you should be picking up it's is... Not to be fair, it's got a wonderful smell to it. It has, actually. Lots of peachiness on the nose. Very attractive there. Really nice style. Very aromatic. You're already salivating, I can tell, Ollie. So what you're going to do now is have a taste. Yeah. Yep. That is brilliant technique, actually. Yep. You're going far. Uh, yep. But what we have got here, you want to pick up the peachiness yeah. and the fruit character that's coming through there as well. Yeah. But what you do have, and this is really important, you know, this is really important because I'm sure, you know, you're thinking about coming in here a bit later on, you know, when you've Definitely. got a five-minute break, yeah. Ollie, pop in. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, but... <laughs> What you've got here as well is, is this peachiness, but also something that's very important in wine is acidity, OK? Yeah, yeah. We're going places this week. Yeah. Uh, but the acidity is really important in terms of the food pairing. This is an okay. interesting point. Guests are coming to have an aperitif wine. Mm. They're coming to enjoy this lovely wine, but also they want to have a wine with food as well. And we've got a brilliant dish okay. to match with this wine. We've got a fantastic turbot, which is going to go brilliantly with this dish. And I think well, we're... yeah, Silvano's waiting in the wings to show us the dish that matches with this wine. So what are you looking for when you, when you decide and, and are matching wines with a meal, whatever it may be? In this instance, it's turbot. Yeah, we've got here this beautiful dish created by Emily Rue. It smells uh, amazing. Oh, it's that, absolutely that dish. fantastic. I mean, you just want to stay here all day, Really yeah. but, but what you're looking for in terms of pairing, you're often looking to match a similar level of intensity of the wine with the intensity of the dish. But also what you're doing here is taking that fruity character, mm. which you've got from this wine, this white wine, using that, but also the acidity, because that will work brilliantly with this turbot. Mm. Absolutely fantastic. And it means that what the guest is getting on the finish is, which is very important, we know talk about finish, we've got to have a strong finish, is you're picking up the turbot flavours as well as picking up the flavours from the wine. It's a great partnership, mm. you see. Um, which is the partnership that you're following on the race course today? What's the, the, the wine tipsters selection today? Well, I've got to do a bit better than yesterday. Obviously, definitely red was a little bit off colour yesterday, so I've gone for more of that today. It's a fantastic Fantastic contest versus No More Heroes today, but I certainly fancy more of that. John Joe looks like he had a winner yesterday, certainly looks like he's set out this horse for this race, doesn't he? Mm. Quiet campaign, and I can actually see a top class performer here. How many corks are we going for, for more of that today? We're going to go for three today. Three corks. Three today, success. I like that. And I think we ought to have a bit of a taste. Yeah, today. well, I just want to s sum up my lesson with Neil Phillips if I can. <laughs> One, don't hold the glass like a clown, <laughs> hold it properly. Two, swirl and smell. Three, taste, match it up with a with a nice meal. Back more of that. Lesson done. Cheers. Cheers Good stuff, Ollie. Good Cheers. Thanks. Yeah, uh, young Ollie should probably stick to the cowpole rather than the uh, wine. It'd be a lot better for him. Leave the fine wines for us. But um... 